our dear subscribers. My name is Jana. I am a tutor at IT Genio Online School. Today I will tell you and show how to create a golf game in App Inventor. So App Inventor is a programming environment for development of Android apps. After creating an application, you can play it with friends or you may even uh, get a developer account on Google Play and upload it there. To work with App Inventor, you will need a Google account and smartphone to check the final result. So let's get started. In order to start working with App Inventor, I'll just type here App Inventor. Go and I'll go on to first link. In order to start creating games, we should click this button Create Apps. And we choose an account to sign in. Uh, here we may click Close. And then to start a new project, I click on button Start New Project. And I'll call it Golf. And this is our working field. App Inventor has two modes, designer mode and blocks mode. We are in designer mode at the moment, so here we are going to create design for our application. At the moment, our application is empty. Uh, you can see screen one, and you can also see it here. Uh, here we may add uh, some uh, changes to screen one, like we may change its background color, for example, or many other properties. Okay. Uh, and on the left, uh, you may see components, new components that we can add to the application. Uh, for example, for golf, we need a playing field. So I'll go to drawing and animation set, take canvas, and uh, we also need a ball. And we should place ball exactly on canvas, like this. Canvas seems really small, so I will change its um, size to full screen size. Uh, so I choose height, field parent, click OK, and width, field parent as well. OK, looks bigger. And uh, I also want to change its uh, background color to green. So it will look more like a field, golf field. Something like this. Done. Okay. And uh, I'll add some changes for ball here. I click on ball 1. And I want to make it bigger. So I'll change its radius from 5 to 7. Okay, it's got a little bigger. And I also want to change its color to white one. Like uh, in real golf. So at this stage, I'd like to test uh, how my application looks uh, on smartphone. So I took my smartphone and I'll record my screen so you'll be able to see what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, so uh, on your phone, you should open application. It may be App Store or Play Market, depends on your phone. Then we go to search and type in App Inventor. search and we should uh, take the application with uh, orange background and B and I'll just click download okay then we open the application continue 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 get started okay now we have this um, uh, screen which says connect with code or scan QR code Okay, so I go to my project on computer, click connect, then I'll choose AI companion. And here I have a QR code or also I may just copy the text code to my phone. It's also very important so uh, that your computer and your phone uh, would be in um, same internet connection, like same Wi-Fi, so I'll switch to Wi-Fi because my computer uh, connected to Wi-Fi. And now I can scan QR code from my computer. Okay, wait a little. And here's my application. Uh, looks pretty well, 
the only thing that I want to change is uh, for screen one I would like to change the title like here it says screen one okay so we go to screen one property title and I'll change it to golf oh and it's also changed on my phone uh, for now I'll just continue <laughs> doing my project on computer and then we'll get back to test some changes in our golf game, we are going to control the ball uh, by rotating the smartphone. So, uh, in order to do this, uh, we need sensor. The first sensor, actually, accelerometer sensor. Okay, I'll just add it here. It's invisible co component. So, it's not on the screen of application, but under it. And you can also see it here. And we're ready to go to the blocks mode. I click blocks here and on the left you may see different colorful squares which you can click and uh, you can see okay uh, you can see different blocks here what do we need now is uh, blocks for components uh, for example for screen one we have uh, like when screen one started and we may get its properties or we may change its properties and for beginning, uh, we need a component accelerometer sensor and its block when accelerometer sensor 1 acceleration changed. Really long <laughs> name of the block. Okay, so that means when we uh, start to rotate the phone, uh, something is going to happen. Uh, actually, to see uh, if it's um, changing if the acceleration is changing or not, um, I will probably add labels and we'll just go into show on the screen uh, this uh, rotation value. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me just start and you'll see what I mean when we're done. Okay, I will take this horizontal arrangement block in order to uh, place two label in one line. Actually, I'll probably take four labels. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what do we say for label one? Uh, you may already know from school uh, that there is uh, such a coordinate system uh, in the world, in maths, in programming. Uh, so we can define position of the ball uh, by knowing its x position and y position. X position it's like this line from left to right and y position it's um, a vertical line. Uh, in this corner, in the left upper corner, x position equals to zero and y position equals to zero as well. And as we move to the right, x position is going to change uh, like to... I think it's going to change maximum to 320, like the phone size. And um, y also changes when we go down. Uh, its maximum value may be 505, but it's exactly for this phone. Of course, uh, on your smartphones, uh, sizes will be different and maximum values of X and Y also different. Okay, so <laughs> I just want to show the rotation value for X and Y. So I will uh, type here X tilt. Uh, here I'll place zero for now here i'll type oops, y tilt enter, and here i'll put zero as well i think we may make the font size bigger I'll also add property font bold for label 1 and for label 3. Okay, I think that's it. And we may also rename the components because we have four labels here and when I go to programming mode it's going to be hard <laughs> to remember which label means what. So I'll rename label 1 to X label 
and the same thing for y okay here we'll put x value and here y value okay and let's go back to blocks so when we start to rotate the phone i want to set for the x value following text and i will get this text from here so if you hover those labels you'll see that we have uh, these two orange blocks get and set by doing by taking get x we will get x value like how much you rotate your phone and the same thing for y oops y value and here would be y okay we may connect the phone again connect companion and yeah you can actually see numbers are changing and they are they looks weird they look weird weird so from Matt's block I will take a round block oh I can see it <laughs> okay here and oops it's just to uh, telling us that there's error because I took this block out so it's okay and I get it back and I'll okay I'll take a round for this block as well and put... okay just delete this one okay now you can see the normal <laughs> numbers and if I'm holding my phone like in normal position it's zero zero if I move it to the right then title changes to minus value oh let me also turn off the rotation thing for my phone okay if i move it to the left x title uh, changes to positive numbers and the same thing for uh, y if i like, move it there <laughs> so you can see <laughs> how i rotate my phone and in this position while coordinates I'll go to negative numbers and the other way it's positive number so these are rotation values and I'll get back to my project and now I will move the ball according to these values so for ball we have uh, X and Y properties I will take set ball 1 X 2 and look if i just put here get x and we'll do let's do the same thing for y let's just see what we'll get okay you, you can see the ball is kind of moving but it's just always on the top it's because now a uh, ball only gets the values x y values um, like this number is like minus one one and minus four one and so it's just really small numbers so the maximum number can be minus ten <laughs> that would be or ten that would be the biggest number and of course uh, our field size is much bigger so uh, we should change the um, x and y not like uh, set set them in some specific value but we should change them so we will take math block okay <laughs> we will take math block plus and we'll get current ball one x value so we my god okay i'll just place those blocks back so we wouldn't get the error <laughs> label so i go to ball and now i take the other green block not set but the short one ball x and if i duplicate it i get ball y okay 
and this is the current ball value. So we put it here and we will add x value and we'll do the same thing for y. Oops, not this block. Y, Y, and X. Okay, let's see. Oh, and you can already see that the ball is moving, but you can see it's moving weirdly, because if I rotate it to the left, ball goes to the right. It's just uh, how it works in uh, programming, in App Inventor specifically. Uh, we should change X coordinate to minus. Like this. Instead of plus, I just take minus. And it should just go in opposite direction. Yeah, now it's all working perfectly. So we have already started several tools with which you can easily build some games or apps. And by the way, if you want to create not only this project, but also other innovative apps, as well as learn how to work with algorithms like variables, loops, databases, then sign up for App Inventor online class in our school. You can find the link to the trial lesson below this video. And in addition, you can also choose other programming areas and learn how to create your own games, uh, useful programs, and even full-fledged websites. New students of ITGenia Online School can get their first so, trial lesson for free. Visit our website and after watching this video and read more. And we are moving on. Our game is missing one very important component. That is the hole for the golf game. So. Uh, we only have the ball, and we should add another ball, which we will rename to Hall. Okay. Uh, it may be black color, but I will change its size to 10 to make it bigger than the ball. Okay, and now if I go back to my phone and see... Okay, there is the hole, but if I touch it, nothing is happening, like literally nothing. Oh, and you may also see the balls may go under the hole. This is not correct. Okay, I'll go back to designer and I will place the initial position of ball just lower than the hole. Like you can see it changes. Oops changes here, like it's ball first, then the hole, and if I put it like this, okay, <laughs> doesn't change now, oh, okay, got it, so first goes ball, then hole, and if it is like that, let's see if the ball will be, oh, it's under the hole again, okay, let's move it this way, so the hole would be first and then the ball. Oh, yeah, now it's great. Ball rolls over the hole. Okay, let's make it so uh, that when ball hits the hole, hole moves to another random position. Okay, I'll go to hole component and I'm going to take when hole collide with. It may only collide with the ball, so we just leave it like this. And I open hole again, and I will take its uh, x and y coordinates. Just duplicate this one and change x to y. Okay. And in maths, we have such a block, random integer. I'll put it here and here. And let's see which maximum values x and y may take. Uh, we start from zero for oops, from zero for x and for y as well. And maximum x value would be the size of the field, so width of the field. So I go to canvas and I take a green block called canvas one dot width and I just put it here and remove this one 
and we'll do the same for y only instead of uh, width i will take canvas height okay now uh, the hole will appear uh, anywhere on the field after ball hits it okay it all works Yeah, it's perfect. And one more interesting thing that we may add to the project is that when ball touches the edge, so I take block when ball one edge bridge, then uh, the game will the game just stops. So we will just uh, erase like those components. Not erase, just make them invisible. I take set canvas one visible too, and from logic blocks I take false. So I make canvas visible property to false, and uh, we should do the same thing with horizontal arrangement. Mm -hmm. There it is. Also false. Okay, I'll need to restart the project. Actually, to like update the project, to start it over, you may just change one of the properties for any component, like here, for example, and then get it back. And your project is updating. <laughs> it's the easiest way. Okay, okay, and if it touch the edge, yeah, everything's just gone. I hope you enjoyed making this cool project with me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell below the video so you don't miss the next video on our channel. And I'll be very grateful if you write in comments the ideas of projects in App Inventor you would like to see. And so, see you in next video! Bye-bye!